Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? Um, I was going through some of my old uh, notebooks and folders and things that over the years, you know, when you find something in a magazine that you like, either a garden idea or a decoration idea, something to do with your house, garden, cooking, even a recipe where you've torn it out of the magazine and wanted to save it. Well, I've done, I had done that for several years. And then when I started doing crafting and I started going to places like Michael's and Hobby Lobby and things like that, and they would have these little project ideas, you know, these little free paper things that you pull out of the rack and you can keep them and take them home. And inside they have, you know, all different kinds of ideas. Well, I was going through my notebook and this is just to give you an idea, right? I've got a three ring binder and inside I've got all the different little things that I've picked up over the years. Um, you know, for this is, this one's got holiday ideas. This one's pictures from magazines, you know, where you look at something in a magazine and you think, oh, I can do that at home. You know, that type of thing. Um, and then some that just gave me inspiration. And I put them in these little, you know, page sleeves, protectors. Let me see. You know, and then some were for holidays, crafting, back here for seashells, gardening. Um, a lot of them I haven't done yet. Um... You know, like to do a fairy party. I got this out of a, what was it? A family fun magazine. Um, soaps. Uh, fabrics. You know, just all kinds of stuff. Anyways, but I started going through this. And actually, I only got so far before um, I came across a couple that I would like to try. Now, you would think that and this is the one I decided on. It's called when the stockings were hung. I don't know how old this this uh, pamphlet is. It doesn't have a date on it. But it's been several years because it's been a while since I've been in Hobby Lobby. But um, but they were beautiful, right? Let's see if you can see those. And made out of paper. So I made my own pattern, put that down, because, you know, honestly, you think, oh, I'd love to make that, and you think you're going to open it up and find directions. No, there's no directions in there, just more project ideas. So I made my own pattern. It took me a little while to figure it out, and I've got four pieces, but, bleh. Anyways, any size. I'm not even going to try and give you a size on this because the next set I'm going to make is going to be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to have to make another pattern. But um, I had the idea that, you know, these could be, you know, just decorative. And then I've got like a thousand grandkids. <laughs> no, I think it's 13, 14, 15 maybe. I don't know. There's a couple thrown in there in the mix that aren't blood, but they're still mine. You know what I mean? So I can't keep up with them all. But I thought to make a small, to, to make some smaller ones, and instead of with the tag that's just a little Christmas tag, you know, like right here. Let's see if you can see that. This one says, Live in the Spirit of Christmas. I don't know if you can see how, how that is. And then there's this one. Come on, focus. I really need to get a new camera. But that's one of those things that I'm just not going to be able to afford. Probably not for a couple more years. So I really hope this one um, lasts me. <laughs> Because I've been saving and saving and saving and finally have enough for a down payment for, um, to get some, uh, dental work done. 
it's been a couple years and um, but I've finally gotten to the point where I can do that now because I didn't realize that you know what they're expensive and I had to find a company that would cover some of it and blah 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 so all right so what I did was the first one I made I just made out of paper and it was beautiful and everything but it was just really flimsy and I didn't I didn't uh, I don't know I wasn't confident in its durability so I got some cardboard and made another pattern and then just glued it to the back <clears throat> see like this I just glued it to the back and it gave it some stability and because my first pattern I made was too big I couldn't I didn't have any recycled cardboard available at the time to just use recycle so I ended up using just regular chipboard you know uh, I had some 12 by 12s and you can get uh, for this size I was able to get two of the two of these on one 12 by 12 let me see pull it out let's see here's the 12 by 12 and I was able to do one this away and then flop it and do one that way so I was able to at least get two out of this um, but for the next ones I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a smaller pattern because uh, it was not a quick uh, a quick project I mean it was a little bit detail oriented you know with the putting in the brads and the the ribbon and the bells and my sewing machine, I tried doing that hand stitching paper thing, didn't work. So I grabbed a Stabilo and I just wrote the stitches. <laughs> just colored the stitches. All right, so give me a minute and I'm going to make a smaller pattern. And I'm probably going to do it out of the, I don't know, these are pretty thick. I don't want them that thick. So... Anyways, I might go ahead, since I'm going to make them smaller, I'll have room to do them on, uh, uh, you know, some recycled uh, cardboard. So, let me make some patterns, and I will be right back. Okay. Um, what I did was I made a smaller pattern and I cut it out and I'm trying to get as many on this one sheet as I can. So far I'm doing fairly good I think. I don't know if I'll be able to get another one that way but Now at least I'll be able to get three out of here. And the closer I can get them together, the bigger pieces, you know, that can be saved and reused as opposed to thrown out <clears throat> in scraps. And I was looking at this, and even making them smaller, I think is going to be a little more difficult to make the folds in, in from separate pieces. Um, see, for example, this has got two different pattern pieces um, over another. So there's like three different pieces, three different patterns on each stocking. And... Uh, Depending on how it turns out, we might be able to get away with with doing two different. But again, like I said, this is the this is the original size. 
one then. This is the smaller one I just made. All right, so let me get these cut out and I'll be right back. Okay, um, I buy a, a usually sets of five or 10 or something dollar store scissors, okay? Um, and I use these to cut like a lot of, like if I'm cutting large amounts of paper or something like that, or if I'm cutting a lot of cardboard. But, you know, so I don't dull my regular scissors. But if you're trying to cut curved edges, okay, smoothly, there's only so much you can do with a cheap pair of scissors. So I had to dig out my, my Tim Holtz scissors. These were a gift given to me by uh, a dear friend. And I was so very, very grateful to receive these because they're great for fussy cutting. They're very sharp. They'll cut metal. They'll cut cardboard. They'll cut, you know, all different kinds of stuff. And they don't go dull. At least they're not supposed to anyways. Okay, so I've got three of the smaller, of the smaller uh, sizes. And this seam I was going to do in blues. <clears throat> and since I'm doing Christmas, I've got these blue uh, snowflake papers, and I thought that would be a really neat, a really neat way to go. So let's see, figure out which ones could go together, and we can mix and match them. So I like those two. I think I'm going to do the light on the bottom and the dark on the top. That's what I'm going to do. So we'll set these aside. And since we're going to do the light on the bottom. Uh oh, hold on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm going to trace this out. <coughs> but I don't want to do it on the front. So I'm going to put it this way. Now, obviously, if I want it, you know, in this direction, I've got to flip it on the back. So, let me get this as close as possible so we're not wasting any paper. Let me set these aside for a minute. Take the pencil and just trace. This is just a lot of tracing, a lot of cutting, and then just decorating. And you can get as elaborate as you want with the decorating and the embellishing. You can use any colored papers you want in any theme. You know, um, one of my big dreams is, um, oh, while I'm here, I might as well do it on this one too. So and this one's the paper patch soft snowflakes. I believe it was a single sheet from uh, Hobby Lobby, but it was many years ago. What I'm doing right now is trying to use up a lot of my my single sheets, um, loose pages, that type of thing. But uh Yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, but yeah, you can use anything, any, There's that one, that one, and we need one more for a light on the bottom. So let's do I want it on that side. And my regular pencil won't show up, so I'm going to use a white pencil. This is a, stab a Stabilo, yeah, um, and it'll show up a little bit better. I like the Stabilos because they, they go on a lot easier. They're softer than regular um, like colored pencils. They erase easier, 
And if you're using them in a, like a journal project, uh, you can add a little water to them and they make great shading and stuff like that. So, okay. So now I've got those three. I'm going to go ahead and cut those out and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got them cut out and what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to glue them to their backing, the cardboard. And I'm just using Eileen's tacky glue. I don't usually like to use a thick glue for paper, but I find that um, using uh, double stick tape on cardboard doesn't seem to last very long. So. <clears throat> okay, let's just set that there for now. And if worse comes to worse, we can always trim off a little if it didn't quite match up. And I'm not worried about it because we can put edgings on this that will hide most of whatever imperfections you may come across in your tracing or your cutting out. A lot of times I find it's just a matter of repositioning your paper. Let's put this on here. my bone folder and I'm going to burnish this down. One, it'll help smooth out any glue lines. And that might show through the paper. Two, it'll help also spread the glue and give you a better adhesion or adhesion, not adhesion, adherence, is that a word? Okay. Yeah, I am going to do a little bit of trimming on this one. Okay. I think that one just comes scooched right out the end. The same thing. Set those aside for a minute. Give me a baby wipe and clean up that excess glue. Try this out. And you can see my camera uh, right there. <laughs> Not very good at there. Not very good at uh, video, whatever you call it wasn't something I ever took in school. This is the one I wanted to trim. But I'm doing. And I said, I'm just going to trim a little bit of this. And it's not going to be too much of a difference because I plan on... There we go. See, just a little bit. And there we go. So we got the bases for three. It's funny because I did this one, but I did it backwards. Right after telling you guys you needed to flip it, 
and I, just, I wasn't thinking at all. So I have two of these, but one's facing the other direction. So I may do like these in pairs and then do the other ones flip-flop back and forth. See, like right there might be it. Oh, that'd be cool. A pair of feet <laughs> hanging down from the chimney, you know. The Santa got stuck. So now we're going to find a coordinating paper for the, I guess, the corset part for the top. Let's see. We want a darker on that one, darker on that one, and maybe a lighter on this one. I like that. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do, I have no idea how to do this because it's not turning out the way it did on the first one because these are smaller. So let's try maybe folding it over. So we'll do at the top, we want it to come down. Ah, so let's see how we do. That's going to be weird trying to fold it. Huh. I don't know. But let's try it. And that's how we're going to do that. But I'm going to cut it bigger. as long. We don't need it as long. one over. I'm just trying to figure this out. There we go. See, now that could probably work. Except we've got to be able to have a slit in the middle. Let's trim some of this away. That's what we've got here for that. Yeah, it doesn't even bother. <laughs> you don't even bother measuring sometimes. All right. Oh, now I like those two colors together. How does that look? Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's trim this little bit right here. And then let's figure out to get it sliced down the middle. There we go. All right, I'll probably just get a ruler and 
it's going to be like that. I'm going to have to give it a little bit of a gap in the middle. There we go. Dig out my smaller paper cutter. This one I've got both my cardboard. Like when my brand new one goes dull, I use it for cardboard or chipboard. But since I'm I'm not going to be using it for that. I'm just going to use my regular paper one. Let me line this up. That looks good. Okay. And this is the one I'm going to glue on first. Doing. And if I'm out of, out of screen, just let me know. <laughs> I know this is not a live stream, so it's not like you can beat me or. Flash me or yell at me and say, hey. what we're going to do on that one. This one I have a little bit more to shave off. Uh, line that wire up on my, on my pencil mark and pull that right off. Let's see which way I was. No, nope, not that way. And there we go. You see that? It's got a thin line right in the middle. Okay. To do that on. Like I said, I'm doing this one a little bit differently than I did the other because this is a little bit smaller. do the same with the other two and I'll be right back okay so I've got them glued front and back it's a little more uniform with just having the one now let's see do we want to try with the the brads, we can do that. Or the eyelets. Or we could just do regular brads. Let me see. That one. This one. Nope, I don't have brads in that one. Let's check this one. That's my little. Ooh, those would be pretty. Look at that. See the blue, there they are, the blue glitter brads. Yeah, I like those. Let's do those instead of the eyelets. Since the paper on this is a lot thinner, I think the brads would hold up a little better. 
Uh, let's see. It even sounds. Sounds like jingle bells. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do six per. One, two, three, four. I have six, and then there's four, so we need two more on this one. Two, two not three, two. All righty. Let's see how we'll do this. Let's put these two off to the side. One will work on one at a time. We could go one, two, three, one. You can see this is an exact science, isn't it? Now what I'm going to do. So I'm going to make sure, there we go, all right, I'm just taking a, a hat pin and poking it through the paper in one little bitty hole. It reduces the resistance so that when you press the brad through, your paper won't rip all over the place. Now, when you get some of these, even though they're very beautiful, I mean, look how pretty, whoops, look how pretty that is. You know, but when they paint them, a lot of times, the prongs will stick together. So, And I got these at Tuesday morning, so it wasn't like, wow, I spent a lot of money. But they were pretty, and I liked it, and it was worth the few extra minutes it would take. Or not. Let's try a different one for now. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to poke it through this hole. I wish I used to be able to um, zoom in my camera, okay, and then for some reason, it's like my printer decided to quit one day, and my, uh, uh, what's that thing that, that you rub around with your finger that your mouse pad, um, that quit almost the same day. My mouse quit almost the same day. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Look at that. And, you know, I don't know. It's just one of those things. Oh, yeah. This is going to be really pretty with the blue. Come on. My fingernails are in the way. I'm probably going to have to cut them all down again. There we go. Let's see. That's going to be really pretty. I should go ahead and do them both on both sides. Do you think that would 
no way to know unless we just check. So let's do that. Thought maybe do it on one side, but uh. and if you really didn't feel like you know going through the headache of splitting them, you could also just cut these off with some cut the prongs off with some wire cutters and then just hot glue it. That is an option. I've done that. <sighs> okay. Oh, and that's the one that I couldn't get over. So let me get there we go. That was easy. Should have just done that in the first place, right? All righty. Look how pretty that is so far. I really like those. Okay, so I'm going to do the same with the others, but I'll get those in a minute. Let's see what else we can do. Do we want to put... Wait, well, let's get that out of the way. Okay, do we want to put some silver ribbon around them and just crisscross? I mean, we could do that. Let's see. Let's check it out. I think that'll be pretty. And it'll give us the same look as, you know, the other. Just tie that. That looks really pretty. I like that. I know, leave it, right? No, we're not going to leave it. Not yet. But that's the perfect. What I want to do is I want to trim these down a little bit. So we get that little lip right here. I'm going to do the same with this one. So we're going to make a little bitty mark. Take this and cut it all the way up there. See, it also gives it, whoops, upside down gives it the illusion of um, having a layer, you know, or depth, distance, shadow, however you want to look at it. Okay, and with that, I don't know if I want to, I might use silver. I want to see what looks better. I've got two different colors. Let's see. If I can find a scrap. There we go. This way, if I can get a scrap, 
I'll know what it looks like instead of messing up the project. But I do want to ink the edges a little bit and give it a little bit of Now that's kind of pretty. Now let's see how the silver looks. Actually, this is platinum. It's a pigment. Yeah, it's a pigment ink. It's in one of the dew drops. I don't know. I like how it looks, but it's very, very faint. And I don't think you'll be able to see it as well. Okay, you see the blue on the one side, and then we've got the platinum on the other, and you can't really see it. You can see it a little bit down there. But I really don't want that that dark, so let me see if I can find a lighter blue, and I'll be right back. Okay, I found a couple of lighter blue ones, but it's, I'm not sure. So I'm going to try, I've got two different shades of gray, even though they look almost the same. One's London Fog, one's gray flannel. So let's see. No, that's way too dark. Don't want that one. That one's a little lighter, but... That one won't even show up, so I know the other one won't. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to pass on the... Good grief. Okay, pass on the... I wish I had a silver paint marker. That's what would work. I had some, but um, the minute I opened them, first use, bam, they dried up. So, maybe use some glitter glue. This is uh, Silver Moonlight, Moon Dust from Nouveau. Nouveau, and I don't even remember which company makes these. I don't know if it's Sukuniko or any of the others, but I like the, the idea of the, the glitter along the edge, so I'm just going to do it that way and let it dry. that. I don't know if you can see that or not. You see that? It gives it that little bit of extra oomph right there. It's not super noticeable. Not in the camera. But maybe one day I'll get better lights and hopefully you guys will see my brilliance. <laughs> Not. I said, I am not good at this. I just like to express my creativity. Once in a blue moon, my muse will 
poke her head up from oblivion and say, ooh, let's try this, and it ends up being a decent idea. And then, actually, let me, see. yeah, no, I really like this one. I'm not even going to change it. And I'm going to do all along the edge of this. So let me outline this with the glitter glue and let it dry, and then I will be back. Sorry about that. Okay, so what I did was, while I was waiting the, for the one to dry, I went ahead and put the brads in the others. You can't see it that way, but I did go ahead and line everything with the, with the glitter glue. Let's see if you can see that. It's very subtle and very elegant. And then I added a little, oops, foam sticker right here to the toe. So pretty much all I have left is going ahead and putting the, let me make sure these are dry. Yeah, putting the ribbon on. So I'm going to do one and show you. There we go. And I was thinking about doing a tag, but then I thought, nah, because that's a little, it just seemed like too much on something that I was trying to keep uh, fairly elegant. So all I'm doing is sliding this under the brads, and then when I get to the top one, I'm just doubling it. underneath there so that way all I have to do is tie it now you could probably hang a tag if you wanted I was looking through my stash and I didn't see anything I was really uh, you know wild about hanging so I have a feeling what I'll probably do is I'll probably just go through the scraps that I have from this, this project left over and uh, cobble together some tags from it. Yeah, I'm not very good at the bow thing. I always, I can never manage to keep the tails, at least on some ribbons, Others I can, but I can never manage to keep the tails down below. So let's try it this way and see if that works. A eh, little bit better. But, and there we go. I wish my lighting was a little better. Let me see if I can turn this one big light over overhead off. A little bit. Can't see the blues though. <sighs> Let's try turning this one off. I'm having a hard time seeing the blues and the glitter. There we go, that's a little better. And there's this one. I'm going to go ahead and get the ribbons done on. And, uh, and then probably do a tag later on. But you get the general idea. And with Christmas, you can do any style, any theme. You know, I think I did purple and silver one year, and then for many, many years, all I did was red and silver. Um, and then uh, I believe my son and daughter-in-law did blue and purple one year, and 
you know, I mean, whatever floats your boat, whatever inspires you and makes you happy. That's what it matters. Come on, go under. There we go. So I hope this project gave you some inspiration to get out and decorate and do your own. I know it's a little early for the holidays, but I figured I'd get mine in there and get, in, get them done because I have a feeling I, I've got to have surgery in a couple days. So I have a feeling that this might be, you know, it for me for just a couple of months, but I don't know. It depends. Dang nabbit. I am never good at this. It's probably because my fingernails are too daggum long. I'm going to have to cut them all off again. There we go. Uh, they kind of stayed down at the bottom. But isn't that pretty? With the pinks and the glitter and the... And then to do a little Merry Christmas thing on it. And Bob's your uncle. Isn't that what they say? I don't know. Never been to England. Never been across the pond. I've been to Canada several times, but uh, you know, and I lived Oconus, which means outside the continental United States. But I was still in the United States, uh, Hawaii, so, but never got to travel abroad and like I said the only other country I've been to is Canada <laughs> but I love Canada oops wrong way come on stay under there Canada is a very beautiful country But so on that note, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for, you know, spending some time. Like I said, I hope I gave you some inspiration. That one again is upside down, but you know what? I'm going to hold it down here and I'm going to hold this one down here and I'm out of focus again. There we go. Hold that one down here and I'm just going to tack some glue down and hold them tails but uh there we go there's the last one so please give me a thumbs up share subscribe if you're not already and thanks for joining everybody have a wonderful day